Hello, 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 and welcome to another episode of Crazy Town Gaming. My name is Jonas. I'm your host. I'm here rolling solo dolo on this Madden 19 relocated Toronto Mounties season one in review. So basically, we just finished our first season. We did win the Super Bowl. We beat the Steelers 56 to 38. There's our Super Bowl trophy in the background. Uh, I'm going to take this to just kind of go through and show our team and the stats and all that sort of shit. Kind of review the season. So uh, we'll go ahead and start out with the stats. Um, here is where we ended up. So we had uh, Logan Hillemeyer. He's our quarterback. He was a rookie. He had uh, 4,800 yards, 54 touchdowns, 9 interceptions. Does this have any fucking fumbles this dude had? Because he really, he really, really didn't uh, do very well. So, all right. So let's go ahead into our rushing attack. All right. So Saquon Barkley missed, oh my God, I don't know how many games he missed. Five? That's probably over here. Games. He only played, yeah, he only played 11 games. <laughs> and he ended up with 2,000 yards rushing and... 27 touchdowns. So if the dude would have played the full season, it would have been ridiculous. Uh, Ballage played 12 games. Uh, so basically he had five games as a starter. Uh, 763, 10 touchdowns. So he, I mean, he did pretty good as a backup. So we'll go ahead and get to receiving here. Who do we got? We got Galladay. He was on holiday all season long. He, uh, 1,600 yards, 15 touchdowns. Seals Jones. He's going to have a kiss from Rose. 1,100 yards, 13 touchdowns. Russell is hustling down the field to catch 943 yards and 12 touchdowns. And then Sturgeon, the surgeon, he uh, he had uh, 12 touchdowns as well. So look at that. We had God Friedman. He did, I mean, he did all right. But we had three guys, with four guys with over 10 touchdowns, three wide receivers, and a tight end. So... Pretty good showing there. Uh, blocking. Our team was trash. How many sacks did these dudes give up? Oh, my God, dude. Look at all these sacks. So many sacks. All right. Defensively, let's see how we looked. Trey Flowers, our cornerback, had the more the most tackles on our team. That's not good. So we had Miles Jack, who is he's really good. So we had him and Kenny Young. Uh, let's see here. Anybody else have do? Another cornerback, strong safety God. So, like, yeah, we didn't we didn't do all that great. Let's see, sacks. Seven sacks is the most we had. Seven, six, six, two. Whew, Jesus, that's bad. Interceptions, probably even worse. We had full five interceptions the entire year. And whew, god damn. Anybody have any uh, good deflections? Oh, Kenny Young, look at you, linebacker. Uh, catch is allowed. Who sucks? Nobody. Force fumbles. How many force fumbles do we have? That's probably all. Miles Jack, Anetta. I think these ones are mine. Cockrells and Gaines. So I'll uh, make them on the punt returns. So let's see here. So we had 94 of 94 and 9 for 9. He made a 58-yard field goal. He's only ranked a 69 overall. Like, I like this dude, Matt Drag Dragasovic. Uh, so he he's on here. I don't know if we'll keep him because he's a free agent, I believe. So uh, Townsend, he was serviceable, I guess, as a punter. Kick return. Anybody do anything good? Antonio Callaway and the Surgeon Sturgeon had the exact same fucking uh, return. Average punt returns. The the Sturgeon, nothing, nothing to write home about. So... Had a pretty good season overall for stats. Let's go ahead and check out the year-end awards. See how we did. Uh, MVP. Oh, so Saquon Barkley, only playing 11 games, still won MVP. So he would have absolutely won MVP if he played all of them. Uh, Hillmeyer came in second. That's good. Anyone else? Nope. All right. Um, Coach of the year. Edward Timberlake. He got it. So we ended up 15-1. Uh, and one. We did have a loss. It was heartbreaking. Made me sad. Um, so let's see here. Offensive player of the year. Top two, Hillenmeyer and Barkley. Anybody else on our team? No. Defense player of the year. Ooh, Trey Flowers and Miles Jack and Logan Ryan. All were nominated for defensive player of the year. But, but Luke Kukli, he won it. So offensive rookie of the year. Hillenmeyer. Oh, my God. Look at my four. Hillenmeyer, Russell, Sturgeon, and Freeman. I have three rookie wide receivers, I guess. So there we go. 
So everyone else is trash, I guess. Defense rookie of the year? Nobody. I don't even know if we had any rookies. So best quarterback was the Myonies, Hillmeyer. Running back, Saquon Barkley. Wide receiver, Galladay and Russell were both on there. Uh, best offensive lineman? Oh, shit, we did have one. Rob Haverstein. There we go. Look at him. He's representing. Defensive line, nobody. Linebacker, nobody. That's okay. So here's my question. How did Miles Jack come in second for defensive player of the year? And he's not even the second. He's not even listed for best linebacker. That doesn't make much sense. Defensive backs, same. Oh, Trey Flowers. There we are, man. He's on here at least. Um, Best kicker. Oh, shit. Dragosavich, you're down here, friend. I mean, I guess not missing any the entire year isn't good enough. So, all right. Let's take a look here. I don't think we broke any NFL records. Uh, so, we will go under season. No, no pass yards, no. Pass TDs, no. Rushing yards. Uh, Saquon Barkley had the fifth highest ever. So, that's good. And rushing touchdowns. He had... Uh, he had the uh, 27, so he had the f second most ever. So not bad. He would have definitely crushed both of those records if he would have played all year. Uh, nobody here for us and nobody here for us. So we'll see if we did any game records. We did not set any game records for passes, rush yards. Oh, Saquon Barkley had 331. So he did set the NFL record for the most rushing yards in the game. And if you look down there at the bottom of the screen, he also set whatever that is, like the 10th best, 265. So we had a couple big-ass games. Rushing touchdowns, Saquon Barkley had five in the game, which tied the NFL record. Receiving yards in the game, nobody. Receiving TDs in the game, uh, nope. Just like somebody who used to be on the Cowboys. All right. So as I had uh, said, we did come in at 15 and one. We did have our first loss ever on one of these relocated franchises. Um, I mean, that is why we simulate the D. You never know what's going to happen. Uh, sometimes I can't keep up. I mean, I th I, in that game, I threw some interceptions. So, you know, it's kind of uh, kind of my... Uh, my fault, you know, hey, they all can't be winners, friends. They all can't be winners. So what I'm going to go ahead and do now is go ahead and go through the standings uh, that were for the entire NFL. So it looks like uh, we'll start in the FC North. It looks like the Steelers were the only team to make the playoffs. Uh, it was the Texans were the only team to make the playoffs in the AFC South. The AFC East had the Dolphins at 14-2 and two and the Jets. And AFC West, the Broncos, and the Chiefs. Now, mind you, this was a fantasy draft season I did where I like I just simulated the entire fantasy draft. So the distribution of players is completely random across the whole NFL. So it doesn't mean that, you know, that the Broncos, as they look in the real NFL, were the best team. So NFC North, uh, the Bears and the Vikings made the playoffs. NFC South, just the Panthers. NFC East, this is uh, us where we were the Cowboys originally. So uh, we we came in 15 and one, and the Eagles made it as well. NFC West, uh, the Seahawks made it. So that is uh, how the playoffs rounded out. And then what I will go ahead and do now is go through the final roster of the team, um, because you know the next thing we'll do will be an off season video where there's a lot of I think it, I'll show you in a minute who who's on the thing to be negotiated. It's like I think 18 players. And there's only, there's like 50 some on the team. Uh, how many players are on my team right now? So there is, I have 63 players on the roster, including the practice squad players and 18 of them, you know, so we're talking like a third of them will probably be gone because the ones that are there are garbage. So let's go in here and check it, see who we got. So we have, uh, so we have Hillmeyer and then Josh Allen. And that's just a, that's just a guy who was on the team He's, he was probably practice squad so uh saquon barkley and ballage we have a couple of random people as down there they'll probably be gone blocky mcblock face i mean we'll keep him around um just as a fullback uh wide receivers here so we have galladay sturgeon russell callaway is a free agent he'll probably be gone and friedman uh then we have these guys too so those guys were all rookies so they'll probably hang out um that'd be my guess tight end who we have here ricky seals jones he he'll probably hang out too. Uh, 
we'll see. We'll see what happens. Um, so left tackle, who we have? Haverstein. Oh, okay, cool. At least he's he's decent. Eighty three. Um, then the rest of our, our line is so bad, dude. Oh my god. Everybody's like a seventy one, seventy four, seventy six. We had a lot of fucking problems with sacks last year. So uh, left end, Kedron Zachary, seventy five. Right end, uh, Kamoko Ture. So uh, he'll be around for a little bit. He's pretty awesome, I guess. Uh, David Onyemata and Maurice Hurst. So we have a decent defensive line. Uh, Trevino is an okay left outside linebacker. Miles Jack and uh, Kenny Young. So they, we need, we definitely need some middle linebackers. Then we had uh, CJ Olsen, who was a rookie. Christian Kirksey. So, like, as you can see, the team really isn't all that good. Logan Ryan, Trey Flowers, I mean, he's he's old. So, at least we have, like, but, like, all of our, all of our fucking cornerbacks, cornerback, cornerback, corner, they're all so old. So, they're all going to start uh, declining soon. Uh, free safety, we got uh, Malik Hooker. We, we're going to keep him around. He's uh, the hooker on the team. Uh, we got Brady McDougal, who, and then uh, Killer Brew. So, they're, they're getting up there in age, too, so... Drago Savic, he's 69 overall, uh, but he was good. I mean, he made a 58-yard field goal, so I may keep him around even though his stats don't reflect that. Uh, punter, uh, same same difference. He, whatever, I don't care about him. So here's who we have for picks. We have uh, pick one, two first-round picks, a second, two-thirds, a shitload of fours. One, two, three, four, five, five fours. Uh, one, two, three fifths, three sixths. God damn, five sevenths. So um, what I'll do is I'm going to go ahead and, you know, the next video will be our off-season video where we try to sign free agents. I probably will try to trade away some of those draft picks to get to improve the team uh, because I hate drafting like 14, 15 players. But if there's nobody I'm going to take, I'm not just going to take someone. So I'll I'll go from there. So let's just show real quick who who's who's a free agent. These are all people I picked up. Uh, Ricky Seals Jones. I'm gonna. I'll try to resign him uh, if he if he doesn't want to sign. I mean that's. I mean that's up to him. Uh, Callaway. I'll probably will let go. Like these guys are 75 overall, 72, 70. Like it's not worth. These guys will be free agents. I I may try to resign this kicker for seven years just to like have him get better. Um, try see 69, 69, 71, 74. 73, 70, like no one is worth, nobody's even green, which is starts to except for Ricky Seals Jones, who, who I may or may not sign. I don't know. We'll see. I'm going to see who I can, can draft or whatever. I'll probably let him go. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what happens. So, but you know, that's really where we're at. It's going to be time to move into the next phase of uh, this team. Uh, we are going to take a break on the Mounties franchise. We are going to uh, be bringing back the Austin Desperados for their third season. Uh, they're probably our most popular relocated franchise. So um, coming up next, they will be uh, the off-season video for the Desperados between their second season and the new season. Uh, so everyone can be refreshed at who's on the team and whatnot. So we will do these um, eventually. We'll probably get back to the Mounties and do another season at some point. But, uh, but for now... I mean, we're gonna call it call it a day with the Mounties and get back to the Desperados. But uh, you know, hey, thanks for thanks for taking the time to watch it. That is all the time that we have for today's episode. Please make sure to like, share, and subscribe. While you're at it, lie to your friends. Tell them that we're funny. Tell them they should watch too. We all know it's a lie, but it's okay. What's a little What's a little lie between friends, right? So if you leave a comment, um, if you want me to change anything, if you like what I'm doing, if you don't like what I'm doing, if you have any other suggestions, I'm always open for criticism, whether it's positive or negative, but that's all we got right now, guys for Jonas. We'll see it. The Austin Desperado season three. I am.